Breaking the Wall of Treating Depression. Clara Tsiang, Falling Walls Lab, Australia. Good afternoon. Depression affects over 200 million people globally and new pharmacological treatments are much needed. On average, it costs over $1 billion and takes 10 years to make a new drug from scratch and to get it approved for market use. Even then, 90% of the drugs fail during clinical trials due to safety or efficacy-related reasons. This creates a major barrier to developing the new treatments that individuals with depression desperately need. Our team proposes a potential solution to breaking down this barrier, where instead of making new drugs, why not repurpose some of the drugs that we already have to save time and money? And the approach we take to exploring the repurposing potential of existing drugs is very similar to fingerprint matching. Here, we look for similarities in the fingerprints of antidepressants that we know to work and our drug candidate. And in this case, the fingerprints are the gene expression changes that these drugs induce in human cells. Just like how the fingerprint of a person can indicate their identity, the gene expression signature of a drug can also provide insights into their pharmacological effects on a molecular level. And our hypothesis is that if two drugs show highly similar fingerprints, then they are likely to, to show high, highly similar pharmacological effects. Let me illustrate with an example. Our search so far has identified statins as a repurposing candidate. Statins are medications that lower cholesterol and are widely used for treating cardiovascular diseases, so we know that they are safe. Using the drug fingerprint matching approach, we find that statins and antidepressants show highly similar gene expression fingerprints, indicating potentially similar pharmacological effects. So we look more closely at the genes conferring this similarity, and we find that many of them play a role in immune pathways. From this, we speculate that statins can potentially exhibit antidepressant effects by influencing our immune system, which has been shown to go haywire in depression. Using this drug fingerprint matching approach, we can potentially find more drugs that we know to be safe and explore their new therapeutic values in treating depression. This pipeline will allow us to prioritize existing drugs that are worth further pursuing in downstream clinical trials. This way, we can potentially get new treatments to the patients in a fraction of the time that is required by conventional drug discovery approaches. Thank you.